now this particular topic which i have explained is for all whether you are doing acca cma cpa if you are doing flexible budgeting this is how you do it and if you want to learn flexible like budgeting is a very important concept in management accounting it is actually one of the easiest topics but if it is not understood in the right manner then it is going to cause you a lot of troubles because it is going to be asked numerous times in your examination it's not just coming in for flexible budgeting under the budgeting chapter but it can come in anywhere now for that i have made this video explaining what flexible budgeting is what type of questions you can get in uh, flexible budgeting i'll try solving some questions also in this particular video so make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you get clarity about this particular concept first you need to understand this flexible budgeting is not continuous budgeting there's a difference between the two continuous budgeting is like you make a budget and then that period is over then you make another budget and it goes on continuously rolling whereas with the flexible budget it's a different kind of a budget in which what you do is nothing but take the actual sales or the actual uh, you know quantity sold purchased whatever it is with the budgeted amounts so that's what is flexible budgeting so that you create another budget so that you have a proper comparison of the variances so now let me just open up a sheet so that i can explain you better sheet so i've just open up a sheet so that i can explain you flexible budgeting in a more better way after that i'll also do a couple of problems so that you get it more you get more clarity for it so basically this is a static budget and here is a actual budget okay so i am going to take the static values and the actual values like suppose let us just take sales for instance for an example let's take variable cost then let's take um means after variable cost will come your contribution then your fixed cost then your operating profit or ebit whatever you call it fine so let me just take some values suppose your actual units sold sorry your budgeted units sold is 10000 okay this is an example 10000 is the unit sold okay i'll just keep that up that you sold then you are planning to sell 10000 actually you are selling 12000 so now for that instance it is actually a good number it's a favorable variance which you are selling so let's just take the amount at which the sale is happening suppose let us take this amount as ten dollar per unit so i'm just uh, you know putting down the formula in x normal formula which is there that uh, ten thousand multiplied by ten so my sales is one hundred thousand or one lakh now my variable cost is actually now i'm putting it as an assumption in this particular question that my variable cost is let's just take five here that my variable cost is five that equals to 50,000 here. So my contribution will be 100,000 minus 50,000. My contribution is 50,000. Now let's take my fixed cost to be 20,000. So my operating profit will be, will be 30,000. Now this is what a normal static budget is. Now let's just go towards the actual of what actually happened. So 12,000 units were sold and the actual sales will be given in your uh, you know question normally let, let us just make this example that is equals to this amount multiplied by let us just take that you have sold it at nine per unit so if, if you just see in this instance that you know you are selling twelve thousand units you're selling ten thousand units here right now it is looking like you have done very good okay now let's just formulate this question is equals to again twelve thousand multiplied by let's just take 5.5 um, for instance okay 5.5 then my contribution will be 108000 minus 66000 42000 now fixed cost i am keeping it the same 20000 as fixed cost so my operating profit will be 42000 minus 20000 and it is 22 
thousand operating profit. Now it is actually not that good. Suppose let us just uh, you know take okay. Let us just suppose let us just take this into consideration that suppose if we change this amount five point five to four point five. Okay. I have just kept it so that we have a proper question in front of us. So now you see that if I have to take out variances here from the static and the actual, I may not get the, you know, a proper appropriate result. Why? Because the basis of comparison is different. I'm comparing 10,000 with 12,000 units sold. So that's not the right basis of comparison. So for that, what do I do is nothing but I take flexible budget. I make a flexible budget. Now in this flexible budget, what will I do? I will take the actual units sold, actual units sold. I'll take now when I take this actual unit sold, I multiply this actual unit sold with all my budgeted amounts. Now, for instance, if you just see this 12,000, I'll multiply it with what, with the amount at which I multiplied my sales, my budgeted sales, which is 10. So I take 10 here. And then what is the variable cost, which I took it there is five, the budgeted amount. So is equals to 12,000 multiplied by five. Then this will be my, uh, what do you call contribution? 60,000. Then my fixed cost anyhow is that 20,000. I'll have my profit as 40,000. So here, if I have to compare this now, understand this with this flexible budget, I'll be able with this flexible budget, I'm able to compare these two so that I can get a proper answer for it. Now, suppose if I do not have this flexible budget and I'm actually comparing this static budget with this actual budget, it is showing me as if I'm getting a 4,000 favorable profit variance, that I'm doing something more than what I planned, but just see in here you also sold 2000 more than planned. So you should have got how much you should have got 40,000 according to the budget. So if I'm taking a variance now here, I am 6,000 in a unfavorable variance. Now with this flexible budget, I'm able to compare these two. Now, when I'm able to compare these two on a normal ground, that is what I want. I hope you guys are getting it. In fact, if you just see the fixed budget will not change the static budget or fixed budget will be the same. It, that's not changing. What's changing is this flexible budget is be being created so that you have a proper variance analysis done with the actual calculation. I hope that you guys have understood. So now what's let us do is nothing but go towards a couple of problems. Let's just take a few problems, some real time problems, which can come in your examination. In fact, this flexible budgeting can be a part of your bigger question. You can get a big question out of which Flexible budgeting can be a small part out of it. So let's just head towards there now. Now, let me just open up a question. So now here's a question in front of us. So let me just open up a pen so that I can answer it properly. So now a company prepared a master budget based on hundred budgeted sales units with a hundred dollar sales price per unit, a variable cost per unit of $50 and $2,000 in total fixed cost. The actual sales quantity was 70 units. When preparing a flexible budget, the operating income is. Now, here's a very good question, a basic question actually. So first of all, if I take 100 into 100, which is nothing but my sales, which equals uh, the amount in there, which is 10,000, okay? And uh, variable cost is nothing but 50 so it will be okay 10000 so 5000 it will be 100 into 50 5000 and uh, my fixed cost is 2000 so operating profit here would be 3000 if it is if it is uh, a static budget but here if you just uh, look into like let me just take in here with uh, this amount. Let me just open up a calculator also so that I can be fast in my calculations. 70 into, let me just do it di directly. 70 multiplied by 50 so that I get 3,500 because my sales price is 100. 
variable cost is 50. I can directly take 50. So 70 into 50 is uh, 3,500 minus 2,000, which is my fixed cost. So my flexible, uh, you know, according to the flexible budget, my operating income will be $1,500. So is that uh, option in here? Let me just check. Is that the answer? Yes, it is the answer. All right. I hope that you guys have got clarity. This is a basic question which you can get. Let's move on to some more other questions related to this. All right. Actually, here there's one more question which I wanted you guys to understand that comparing actual results with a budgeted based on achieved volume is possible with the use of a flexible budget. So understand this question first that comparing actual results with a budget based on achieved volume, the answer will be flexible budget it won't be any master monthly rolling budget for sure all right let's move forward now so here's one more question a firm has begun using budgeting to evaluate performance budgets were prepared for the current year based on anticipated sales of 40000 units actual sales totaled 45000 what type of budgeting methodology should the firm use to evaluate performance this year the answer for this again will be flexible budgeting. In fact, we are doing this particular chapter, so we will be getting questions related to it. So what I want you guys to understand is that this is an explanation which I want to give it to you, that this is what flexible budgeting is. This is where flexible budgeting will be used. Okay, answer flexible budgeting, yes. So here's a question which is actually related towards, you know, the calculations part. So let us do this. And once we are done with this, we are done with our session also. So now uh, the actual shipping cost for the month amounted to $21,000. The appropriate monthly flexible budget allowance for shipping costs for the purpose of performance evaluation would be. Okay, so the flexible budget allowance for shipping cost for the purpose of performance evaluation should be. So let's just go ahead and read the above question now. Remember this, whenever we read a question, we read the requirement and then we go towards above. Based on past experience, a company has developed the following budget formula for estimating its shipping expenses. The company's shipment averages 12 pounds per shipment. Shipment cost is equals to $16,000 plus half a dollar multiplied by pounds shipped or the weight shipped. The planned activity and actual activity regardless regarding orders and shipments for the current month are given in the following schedule are given in the following schedule. So your planned sales order are 800, but actually happened is 780 shipments were planned 800, but actual are 820 units shipped is uh, 8,000 and actually it got shipped is 9,000. So that's with the weight. Sales amounting in dollars 120,000, 144,000 here. Total pounds shipped is 9,600 in planned ways, whereas in the actual, it got shipped with 12,300. The actual shipping cost for the month amounted to $21,000. Okay, $21,000. The appropriate monthly flexible budget allowance for shipping costs for the purpose of performance evaluation would be. So, this is going to be a very good question which we can answer here. Now, what we'll do is just see this question once again. See this question once again. The shipping cost is $16,000 plus half a dollar per pound shipped. So now if you just go towards flexible budgeting and remember this that, okay, $16,000 is fixed, but this particular half a dollar is going to be variable with the number of um, uh, you know pounds uh, shipped. So now in fl uh, flexible budgeting, we will be taking the actual quantity actual quantity and multiply it with the budgeted rate. So the budgeted rate is front of is in front of us. What we need to do take here is nothing but our actual units shipped. Now, if you just see in here, what is they calling? Uh, what are they calling allowance for shipping cost and for the performance uh, for the purpose of performance evaluation. So now it becomes a bit clear. So let's just do one thing. Let's do 16,000 plus half a dollar multiplied by the total amount of uh, pound shipped, which is 12,300. So 12,300 multiplied by 0 0.5. Let me just do it on my calculator so that I can get an answer. 12,300 multiplied by 0 0.5. That equals 6,150 plus 16,000. 22,500. Is that 22,000? 150 I've got is that the answer let me just check in here 
let me just check yes it is uh, the answer and uh, that's what it is the proper explanation for it so now i hope that you guys have understood what i tried to explain i started up with explaining a topic i you know you know took that flexible budgeting as a topic and thought to explain it if you found value from this now this particular topic which i have explained is for all whether you are doing acca cma cpa if you are doing flexible budgeting this is how you do it and if you want to learn that then you have to watch these type of videos again and again i hope that i have made a lot of sense make sure that you subscribe to our channel in fact you you who is watching it right now you have not yet subscribed to this channel subscribe to this channel like this video so that i can make more videos like these thank you very much i hope that you've learned a lot from this